guys, video game viewer here with a review of Darksiders. The main character of Darksiders is War, one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse. And basically what he's trying to do is uh, redeem himself. He was accused of prematurely starting the apocalypse early. So uh, he, he was framed for that and he's looking for not only revenge but redemption and to clear his name of this and to get to the bottom of what exactly happened and who framed him so let's get right into it I'm gonna talk about the game here it's been compared to Zelda it's been compared to God of War yes it does have elements of those two games but is it as good as those two games no not necessarily the game I have to say is pretty awesome it's got a lot of puzzle elements in it and I really like the puzzles that's what really kept me going throughout the game uh, when I started off the game I, I gotta admit I was a little apprehensive the game wasn't really picking up that much and I, I wasn't really holding my interest but I pushed through it a little bit and uh, I got I got into it a little bit more and uh, I, I really actually started to enjoy it based on on the puzzles alone the puzzles are really interesting they're really varied and they're really gonna hold your interest the combat on the other hand is something a little bit of a different story the combat is fun it's very fluid it flows but the finishing moves I have to say get stale after a while they completely did away with the quick time events for bosses and for regular enemies in this game. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, being that video games lately have been doing so many of those. Like, it seems like every game has a quick time event sequence in it somewhere now. But uh, there's finishing moves. So when you finish an enemy off, um, it's just one button press and you get to see a finisher move. The only thing is, I would have liked the finishings to be a little bit more varied um, like this angel here for example uh, like or, or any enemy there's like angels in the game they all have their own special finishing move when you finish them off but if you're fighting an angel or if you're fighting like five angels the finishing move for each angel is going to be the same each and every time it gets really stale really fast watching the same finishing move each time so unless you're in a room full of this different enemy types I mean it, it's gonna get really old really quick luckily you don't have to do the finishing moves so now the graphics in this game are uh, are pretty good I mean it's uh, they're they're really colorful they're vibrant there's uh, there's a lot of, a lot to look at um, and I mean war he, he, he looks awesome the enemies look really badass in this game like the angels here with their glowing wings I mean all the enemies look great the only gripe I really have is the environments they're kinda of bland they're kinda of empty there's not a lot of eye candy to look at in the environments um, so but I mean that, that's not a major gripe one thing I would have liked to see is a little bit uh, more of what actually happened to humanity in the game uh, the human race uh, and, and kind of find out like exactly how they disappeared or I mean obviously they were killed off but I mean I would have liked to get a little bit more backstory and the characters in this game never really seem to be too fleshed out I mean you don't really get to learn too much about war uh, or any of the other characters for that matter so none of the characters are ever really ever really fleshed out so Overall, though, it's it's basically a pretty good game, and it held my interest. But like I said previously, mostly just because of the puzzle elements. They were uh, really, really good. I really enjoyed the puzzles in this game. Combat kind of felt a little forced, though, at some point. Um, with, you know, gates coming up in the room or being blocked. Uh, curses being sealed over the doors that kind of stuff so you're forced into combat a little bit and that did get a little annoying at some portions in the I also want to talk about the weapons in this game the weapons in this game are badass I could have went through the whole game just using that badass sword that he carries around but I mean the cross blade that you use that you use the throw 
your your scythe and all the attachments that go along with it it just really added another layer to the combat there's no real strategy to the combat as i said it's a basic hack and slash game you could get away with no enhancements on your weapons you could get away with just using your sword through the whole game for combat but you're going to want to check out the other weapons and I, I i really do recommend you check out this game this game is really good it's definitely a sleeper hit there wasn't a lot of hype about it but it's definitely going to be one of those games that people are going to be talking about so you're going to want to check it out if anything at least rent it with that said darksiders has some really good graphics um it's really colorful and vibrant you can totally tell that it was torn right from the pages of a comic book um the boss battles aren't that interesting. They're really easy, even on some of the harder difficulty levels. The enemies are pretty varied, but the finishing moves just get old and stale really fast. Um, for a new franchise coming out on the market, it's great that they tried to pull all these resources from these great games, but I would have really liked to see them as a new, as a new franchise coming out, I would have really liked to see this game stand out on its own a little bit more and come out with some newer and fresher ideas. And they're just not there. It's really kind of stale. It's nothing you haven't seen before. If you do want to play this game, I'm going to recommend you probably rent it first. It's nothing to write home about. So I'm giving this game an 8 out of 10. So this has been the Video Game Viewer. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back.